Hello, everybody. Welcome to Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about interstate highways and the cities that they are signed to go to. All right, today we are talking about Interstate 29 once again. Uh, just as a reminder, Interstate 29 is a road that goes more or less due north from Kansas City, Iowa, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Missouri, just barely missing Minnesota and Nebraska. Today we are talking about southbound I-29. When we left off last time, we were talking about my trip into Winnipeg in 2002, or rather my attempted trip into Winnipeg, where I spent some time in this secondary area of the Canadian Customs Border Patrol. They asked me if I had any money and asked me to show them my money, and I just had $40 or whatever, so I showed them, and they said, that's not enough money to go to Winnipeg. Do you have more money? And I was like, yes, I have a credit card. And they said, well, how do we know it works? And I was like, uh, do you have something I could buy? Uh, I, uh, there's no internet on the phone. It's 2002. Um, I can't call the credit card company because I am 10 feet over the border. So now it's an international call. So they said, uh, all right, leave Canada, please. So I left from this part of the parking lot of the Canadian Customs area. I'm amazed all this is on Street View. And returned to drive south down I-29. So here is where we started, where I started on that trip too. We see Grand Forks is our primary control at 74. Sensible, I suppose, but I actually I bypass Grand Forks here and start with Fargo, just because Fargo is the prominent city of North Dakota. Grand Forks makes sense on northbound, but southbound, I just go straight to Fargo. And in Grand Forks, of course, Fargo is our southbound control city. In Fargo, where I finally got off I-29 after driving up 150 miles to the border through the plains and then driving back 150 miles to the, through the plains to Fargo, I left at I-94, but I-29 itself is continuing south to Sioux Falls. Definitely the correct control city here. In Sioux Falls, I-29 meets I-90, and it is signed for Sioux City which again coming north in Iowa I thought was a good choice but coming south from Sioux Falls I would actually bypass Sioux City since there's no major highway junction or anything there and just sign straight south to Omaha. Of course we get no signs for Omaha when we are in Sioux City 29 is signed for South Council Bluffs because Iowa likes playing these provincial games and refuses to sign Omaha, the larger city. I know I-29 doesn't actually go into Omaha, but it definitely serves Omaha. It's definitely one of the major interstates serving Omaha along with 80. Here on the outskirts of Omaha, I-29 meets 880. This was brought to my attention by one of my awesome commenters, a, a viewer of this channel. 880 is brand new. It was 680 up until recently. And in fact, the Google Street View I saw before listed 680 at this intersection, but I was able to find a, a newer image. And we are signed South 29 West 680 Council Bluffs, Omaha. This is our first mention of Omaha and the only mention really on an overhead sign with 29 on it. Kind of interesting because 680 doesn't really start here, at least according to Wikipedia. But 680 is still signed with this multiplex with 29 south to uh, its junction later on. Here is the only Omaha mileage sign we see on I-29. 12 miles away It's the only one, Council Bluffs 11. And what are they doing? Omaha N-E-B-R. That's the worst abbreviation I've ever seen. For one thing, Omaha's big enough, you don't need to have the state in there to begin with. And if you are going to have the state, why not... N-E or N-E-B? N-E-B-R? After passing the junction with 680, 29 is once again signed just for Council Bluffs. 680 was signed for North Omaha. Now we get 480 that is going to downtown Omaha and to the airport. 
and 29 is now signed south for Kansas City, even though we have not yet made it to Council Bluffs. We're nearing this intersection with 80, where 29 and 80 are going to have the local express thing going on, um, you know, Dan Ryan Expressway style. So we see 29 south, 80 east, Council Bluffs, local exits, and 80 for Omaha, Des Moines, express traffic. Kansas City is now signed once again at the split with 80, 80 East Des Moines, 29 South Kansas City. So Council Bluff shows up on the signs and then it goes away, then shows up again, then goes away. Very inconsistent signing by Iowa here. In Iowa, this mileage sign, we see Kansas City is the primary control at 175. This is the correct choice. Of course, Missouri decides to go provincial instead, and they don't put Kansas City on these signs. Suddenly, we are signed for St. Joseph as our primary control city instead. Uh, this, this makes no sense to me. If you want to put St. Joseph on there as the secondary, that's fine. But Iowa put Kansas City on, on these signs. You should keep Kansas City on the signs. When we meet 229 to go south to downtown St. Joseph, 29 gets no control city at all. We just get a through traffic 297159. This should definitely say Kansas City on here. And once again, we finally get 29 South Kansas City, uh, 150 miles or so after we first got it, with the intersection of 229 going north to St. Joseph. Nearing the Kansas City airport, we have the split for 435 South Topeka because 435 is going to hit 70. And 2971 South Kansas City, 435 East St. Louis. Although, if you were to go to St. Louis, you're probably better off staying on 29. After leaving the airport area and the 435 area, 29 meets 635. And 635 is signed south for Kansas, which I think is really a great choice here. Um, control city state aside and local bias aside, because 635 goes into Kansas City, Kansas. So it'd be very confusing to have Kansas City, Kansas, and then Kansas City downtown signed. So just going with Kansas, I think, is, is the correct choice. Now we meet 169, the Broadway Expressway. So it's signed for Kansas City downtown. 29 is just signed now for Kansas City, although it goes downtown-ish as well. Uh, this sign is correct, the most quick way to get downtown is on 169. We can see that we're running out of exits. This is exit 1A, but I-29 still technically continues for a while duplexed with I-35, although there is no sign for 29 on this overhead sign whatsoever. Now we see the last pull-through sign that includes I-29, 29, 35, 71, Kansas City. Here we cross the new Paseo Bridge, and you get probably about as interesting of an urban view as you get the entire length of I-29 just in its final mile. After crossing the bridge, we have a choice of East 70 for St. Louis and South 35 West 70 for Wichita and Topeka. And 29 does in fact get an end sign, even though it could be argued that it ended with its original junction with 35. But if they have the official end sign here, here is where we shall end. All right, we are going to start a new segment today, brand new segment in Control City Free. This is called Todd's The Way It Should Be. Uh, it's absolutely not ripped off at all from Jerry Springer's final thought. So, Todd's The Way It Should Be, in my opinion, 29 North, it should be signed for Omaha, Sioux City, Sioux Falls, Fargo, Grand Forks, and Winnipeg. Some of those cities are signed, Omaha is not. And for South 29, I think the way it should be is South Fargo, Sioux Falls, Omaha, and Kansas City. All right. That will finish another episode of Control City Freak. Thank you so much for joining. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Todd, and keep on trucking.